Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do this extremely easy blood splatter. I mean, very simple. <laughs> Just in time for all those Halloween tumblers out there. So let's get to it. Oh my. <laughs> There was some thunder there. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting off with a custom tumbler that a customer had requested and they wanted this look. So I thought I'd, I'd show you guys how I do it. My epoxy is all smooth. I have my vinyl decal already put on. I have some red acrylic paint that I'm gonna put into a dish. And then I'm using two types of brush. I'm using a toothbrush and this old eyebrow brush that I have. I like the eyebrow brush because it kind of has a little bit stiffer bristles than the toothbrush. The toothbrush kind of produces more of a mist, whereas the eyebrow brush will, will give more of a splatter look. So I'm going to take a little bit of water because you want to water down your acrylic paint. I'm just going to stir that up really good. Okay, now that I have that all stirred up, I'm gonna just kind of put my water off to the side because I don't think I need any more water. But I'm gonna show you guys, see how it's it's pretty loose in there. That's so that way we can get those, those good splatters up on the cup there. <laughs> now, if you want to, you can always add a little bit more paint, but I like this consistency, so I'm gonna keep it as it is. So all you wanna simply do is take your brush and just take your finger and just roll it across the top of that brush and it will start to give you that splatter look. Now, as I said before, the toothbrush kind of provides more of a mist. So I'm just gonna kind of mist on some colors real quick here. And you also wanna be very careful because obviously the acrylic is wet. So you wanna try not to touch any of those areas that you just did. So I'm gonna continue to mist it just a little bit more here. I'm gonna try out my nifty little <laughs> eyebrow brush. <laughs> I think I've had that brush since I was a teenager. <laughs> but hey, it's getting it's getting good use still. But as you can see, it kind of provides more of a that splatter look that, you know, I, you know, that you see in the, the shows and stuff. So <laughs> so I kind of like the way that looks. So I'm just gonna kind of roll with this brush for a little bit and kind of get my splatters on there really good. As you've seen there, I accidentally got a big little drop, that, not big little, it was a big drop. But because it's still wet, I'm just gonna wipe it away with my finger and there you go. We'll come back through uh, after we add the splatters and we'll do some, some big drips on it. Now that I got the front all done, I'm gonna go ahead and hit up the bottom here, all while my hand is pretty much in the tumbler so it's out of the way. If you don't feel comfortable, and you're too afraid that you might um, smear some of this paint, you go ahead and take your blow dryer and dry it up real quick. It, you know, it, it doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong here, guys. I'm just going to continue to rotate my brushes between the misting with the toothbrush and the more splattery look with my eyebrow brush here. And then I will show you guys how I kind of did a little bit more bigger drips on there. Okay, now I'm gonna take the end of uh, one of my brushes or whatever brush you have on hand. I'm, I just like to use the back side of it and just kind of dab places on there and I, you know, kind of make it a little bit thicker so that way it kind of drips just a little bit. You don't want it to run too much or maybe you do, I don't know. <laughs> maybe you want it kind of more drizzled. I mean, this, this is just how I'm doing it. However you guys do it is completely up to you. I'm just kind of giving you guys ideas if you're new and you know you don't know how to do the blood splatter look, pretty simple, isn't it? Anybody can do it. I know you got this. As far as the brushes go, you guys could experiment with any type of brushes you'd like. You can even take a piece of paper so that way you don't do it on your tumbler and, and just kind of go from there and figure out what look you like the best. Well, I hope you guys had fun watching this little tip today. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tips or tutorials or vlogs or products I have coming your way. And I will see you guys next time.